Hi there, welcome to the CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget entitled Windows 8 Malware Protection. My name is Tim Warner. You know, there was a time not too long ago, back in the Windows XP days, that I would not hook a PC to the internet until I had updated Windows XP to a sufficient level. That's how dangerous the internet is, historically, to Microsoft Windows. Microsoft certainly is aware of this, and to that end, they've included more malware protection than ever before inbox with their latest client operating system, Windows 8. I'm going to summarize those new features, or should I say enhanced features, in this whiteboard, and then we'll jump into a brief demo and I'll show you the basics of how they work in practice. First we have Windows Defender. Now you may know this piece of software is Microsoft Security Essentials, and several years ago, Microsoft built Security Essentials from a purchase they made of a separate product called Giant Anti-Spyware. Now I was a user of Giant back before Microsoft purchased it. I often recommend to my clients and my students to use the free Security Essentials for anti-malware purposes. It's a great piece of software. You'll find though in Windows 8 that you cannot install Security Essentials on Windows 8. Windows 8 will tell you that it already includes a built-in malware scanner called Windows Defender. Now yes, the naming here is weird because there was a separate product called Windows Defender a few years ago that did only limited anti-malware scanning. It wasn't exactly an anti-virus scanner, it was only anti-malware. It got kind of confusing. Well, Microsoft has brought back the Defender name in Windows 8, and rest assured, it's simply an enhanced version of Security Essentials. So the idea is that between it and the built-in Windows Firewall, you have out-of-the-box protection for most bad stuff, that is to say malicious code, that could show up on your system. Now, of course, all the malware protection in the world is not going to help you if you're not practicing safe and sanitary browsing and executable code downloading habits. That's another discussion for another time, though. Another feature that's been enhanced in Windows 8 is the Internet Explorer Smart Screen Filter. Smart Screen is a URL filter, a website filter that Microsoft maintains. It's essentially a blacklist of known fraudulent websites. You've heard of phishing, where you're presented with a phony login page to a bank, let's say, or PayPal, and you think you're submitting your credentials to that site. Actually, you're submitting them to a malicious individual or a malicious group who is going to steal your money. So Smart Screen works by scanning not only the URLs you visit, but in Windows 8, the files you download against its blacklist and warns you if it comes up with a match. Those are the two main enhancements to user-level malware protection. Now, under the hood, stuff that the ordinary user would never be aware of, we have Address Space Layout Randomization, or ASLR. What this does is it shifts periodically the memory location of executable code, in other words, your programs, such that your executable codes are less likely to get tracked and compromised by malicious code. The other under the hood enhancement in Windows 8 is UEFI boot protection. In other words, Windows can detect boot time viruses by going really down deeply underneath the operating system to the Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, or UEFI level, when the system performs a cold or a warm boot. Let's now hop into a Windows 8 Enterprise Edition system, and I'll show you those two major features. First of all, Smart Screen. If we pop open Internet Explorer version 10, we can verify that Smart Screen is enabled by opening the Tools item, coming down to Safety, and we'll have an option to turn off or turn on Smart Screen Filter. This is an important page, not only because it gives us our on-off control, but there's also a handy-dandy link that takes you to a windows.microsoft.com webpage called the Smart Screen Filter Frequently Asked Questions. You can learn more about the technology there. Now, I don't want to turn off Smart Screen Filter, so I'm simply going to cancel out of that dialog box. The other technology is Windows Defender. You'll notice that Windows Defender in Windows 8 does not run down in the notification area like Security Essentials does on non-Windows 8 systems. We can verify that the tool is here and protecting our system by searching for it. Let's go to the lower left area of the classic Windows desktop and click Start 
to go to the so-called Start Screen Interface. From here we can simply type to perform a search for a program or a file. So I'll type Defender and we'll see our default result is Windows Defender. I'll press Enter and it will pop open the application. Now if you've used Microsoft Security Essentials then you know how to use Windows Defender. It's essentially the same exact interface. Interestingly we even have the same program icon that we had back in the original Windows Defender days. You see that my real-time protection is turned on and my definitions are up to date. We can always do a manual update from here or through our Windows Update routine. There you have it. Built-in enhancements to malware protection in Windows 8. I hope that this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.